Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva, where we're very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Professor Emanuele Giovannetti, who is Professor in Economics for the Anglia Ruskin University in Cambridge campus in the United Kingdom. Professor Giovannetti, thank you very much indeed for being with us in the studio today. Thank you. I'm delighted to be here. This year, I wanted to point out that we're celebrating the 25th anniversary of the ITU development sector. The ICT landscape has changed, obviously, dramatically in, in that uh, time. How do you think that this study on ICT for SDGs will contribute in responding to many of today's challenges? Um, I think that this study will be really essential in uh, pull together different branches of knowledge, uh, focusing on how can we really use and harness ICTs to attain their sustainable development goals. And I think that ICT is, uh, provides both a wonderful opportunity to attain those goals and at the same time poses great risks. So it is very important to have a very balanced and uh, multi-sided approach to understand these effects. Now, there are several studies and debates on how ICTs are key enablers for economic growth and innovation. I'm sure you're familiar with a number of them. I wanted to ask you, can you tell us more on th how the main outcomes of this study and its added value to the existing discussions uh, will make a difference, and specifically its contribution to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals? Yes, I think we try to look uh, forward instead of backward. We're not trying to see... Uh, where are we now, but where can we go, How, what should we do in order to, uh, to attain the SDGs. So I think th this, this, this project is really going to focus on this, uh, and this is probably the main difference. But also the fact that this, uh, there are different experts with different backgrounds, with different coming from different fields of expertise, uh, and so there is a constant, uh, constant uh, debate, uh, if you want, uh, about uh, from different pers perspectives to try to capture what is the real possibility of uh, moving forward in attaining the SDGs. Now, a number of experts have been asked to contribute to different chapters of this study. Uh, I wanted to ask you about specifically about yours, which I believe is Chapter 3, and it involves ICT as enablers for innovation ecosystems. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about what that means. Yes, of course. Uh, yes, Chapter 3. And uh, there is a large literature on innovation ecosystems, and uh, this literature is uh, focusing often on developed countries only. So in a way, uh, there aren't too many contributions focusing on ecosystems, uh, innovation ecosystems for developing countries, which of course is a very important theme in relation to the SDGs. But even in the literature of focusing on ecosystems, innovation ecosystems for developing countries, uh, again, there isn't a strong focus on how ICT can be used in, uh, in enabling the achievements of this uh, innovation, in focusing these innovations towards sustainability and sustainable development goals. So um, this chapter is really trying to focus on the key role which is played by different platforms, by different digital infrastructures that given the nature of these new ICT technologies, are now not only just a digital infrastructure in themselves, but also provide a lot of scope for human interaction, face-to-face -face interaction, building capabilities. So there is this merging of a digital and human infrastructure, which is essential an essential component for the an ICT-enabled ecosystem to produce innovation and growth and to achieve some of the key sustainable development goals. In your opinion, what's going to be the true value of this study? The true value will be to understand also to provide a roadmap for policy makers to try to understand what are the typical mistakes to be avoided, who are the key players, how activated key components of an ecosystem, because without the involvement of all the key components, uh, it will be very difficult to achieve with a good degree of success the SDGs. Well, we thank you very much for your contribution today and, of course, your contribution to this study, and we very much look forward to its launch in the very near future. Thank you very much. I was delighted to be invited to work at the ITU. It is a very stimulating environment, and I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.